yes, yes. Lightning McQueen here, and I'm here with Rusty's Medicaid Bump Arm and new rear end formula. Nothing sues a rusty bumper like Rusty's. Wow, would you look at that shine? Use Rusty and you too to look like me. Go, ciao. Welcome back to the channel Dynico Blue 43. Today we're going to be doing another die cast review on a car that was released eight years ago back in 2010, a part of the final lap collection. He was released lenticular and lenticular only. We have the Rusty's Lane McQueen, which basically is just the regular Cars one McQueen with the Rusty's can. I know some of you guys might be a little bit confused because he has the same name as the Cars 3 beginning paint job for Cars 3, the intro McQueen I like to call it, which was also called Rusty's. Rusty's Lightning McQueen. These two literally have the exact same names. I don't really like that at all. I wish they basically just named this one McQueen with Rusty's can because that's really what it is and it would bring give a lot less confusion to collectors. But just to clear everything up, you can basically just call this one McQueen with Rusty's can because this Cars 1 Rusty's McQueen basically is just McQueen with the Rusty's can while this Cars 3 version of Rusty's McQueen actually is a paint job and not an accessory. Hope that clears everything up. I just want to let everyone know that there's two different McQueen variations that went with the same exact name. Not really a big fan of that, but oh well. What you gonna do? I don't think it really was intentional. I think it was completely unintentional. They had no idea that there was already another McQueen release with this exact name, Rusty's Lane McQueen. But nonetheless, let's get let's leave that behind us and get right into this review. So yeah, like I said, it was released back in 2010 and is a chase. All chases are never to be re-released, so we will never see a re-release of Lane McQueen with the Rusty's can. This is the only way you'll ever be able to get them. You can get them off of eBay or maybe some Facebook on some of the cars communities. That's where I got mine. I got it from a Facebook guy. I have been getting a bunch of stuff from Facebook, actually, and it's a bunch of great stuff that I've always wanted, and I do plan to do a review on a couple of those things, so stay tuned for those. But without further ado, let's get right into this video shall we we will review him in the package unbox him and then show him loose as you guys see we have rusty's light mcqueen on the name tag right there like i said i do like how the arrow is or the name tag is in like an arrow type of design number 128 an art of lightning mcqueen warning choking hazard label disney pixar cars the chase logo look my eyes change you can clearly see the arrow is pointing to mcqueen's eyes because you see mcqueen's move eyes move back and forth like that very nice on the back, you can see a picture right here of Lightning McQueen. No other cars. They never really did show any other cars from the Final Act collection in that year because they had all this stuff smack in the middle. And now what I do like is there's this like plastic window in the back. You can see the other side of the car. I do like this reason being because when there's chips on your car, you can even tell if there's chips on the other side of the packaging because of the clear window right here. So if you were to find a car in a store and it had this plastic window, you'd be able to see if there are chips on both sides because since it doesn't have that plastic window back there. Nowadays, you just have to get lucky. I mean, obviously, there's definitely a lot better chance that it's not going to be chipped, but nowadays, you don't have that plastic window, so you can't really tell if there's any chips on the opposite side. But without further ado, let's unbox Rusty's Light and McCoy. Alright guys, so here we do have McQueen with Rusty's can completely out of the package. Obviously this review will not be long, we're basically just going to take a look at the Rusty's can and obviously we'll compare this McQueen with lenticulized to the regular normal Cars 1 Lane McQueen. We're going to put these beside now, we're going to take a nice look at the Rusty's can. Now it's actually pretty detailed, it might be one of my favorite accessories just for how detailed this is, it looks very nice. You can see the Rusty's logo right there, Medicaid Bump Roman, New Rear and Forma, the exact same one that is on the regular Lightning McQueen, obviously a lot smaller though. Medicated bump ornament back right there. Let's zoom in so you guys get a nice look. New rear end formula in the upper left hand corner right there. There is a yellow stripe in the background, like right behind the Rusty's logo. We got more text on the bottom right here, but that is way too small for me to read. I cannot even read that. It's on this like nice little stand thing, this gray thing right here. It's obviously not removable. It's just completely stuck to like the bottom of it. Stands up pretty well. You can actually hoist it, not hoist it, but like. It stands up very nice, and I do like that. As you guys see, it does stand. 
So yeah, I do like how it stands like that. Now up here you can see like a cap, which I assume the cars would open. Not sure how they would since they have tires, but this is probably meant to open it so you can fuel up your car with some rusties or something like that. I don't think it's like a fuel, but like maybe it's like the ointment that you just put on your hand, you know. And then obviously on the back right here, you can see the rusties pledge. Now it's very small, but I think I might actually be able to read it to you guys. Get speedy, soothing, wonderful relief from the pain and discomfort of rust. First acting rusties contains up to, I think that says a half, I think that says a half, more ease for quick smoothing relief. We promise. Clink and clank. Very nice pledge right there. Be kind of cool if they actually did say that in the movie, but yeah, it's pretty nice information right there. I actually did not know that. I said that on the back right there, so that's another nice detail. You can see the rusties within like a ribbon sort of form. I do like that a lot. Obviously, we have more text on the side right here. I just love the detail that was put into this little tiny accessory right there. They didn't even really have to do all this for... Uh, God knows what, Mattel probably could have just put the Rusty's logo right here and just have all of it completely red and blank. So, I really do like that how they put all this information on here. I really do like that Mattel did that. Mattel did an awesome job and put a lot of effort into this, and I really appreciate that, Mattel. This one is probably one of my favorite accessories, I must say. I definitely will be displaying this, and now, I will not be displaying this McQueen right here because I'm not really a huge fan of the lenticular cars, I never would because they always seem like they have four eyes and it just looks very sloppy on the car. So I'm just going to display him right next to my normal Cars 1 McQueen instead. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this McQueen. Maybe make it into a custom one day, but for now, I really don't know. But anyway, here's a nice comparison between the two McQueens. As you guys see, it's not just the eyes that change their mouth. It's different. Obviously, this one has a lot more of a wider open smile. This one, his mouth is closed a little bit more. He's still kind of smiling in a way. There's the two expressions. Yeah, the one right there, which makes him look really determined right there. He's like determined to win. And then right here, looks like he's confused about something. And he's looking off to hit, from his perspective, the lower left-hand corner. And obviously, all lenticulars are eye placed. They're not actually a part of the mold. They're just plastic pieces. And yeah, that's pretty much it with the differences between these two McQueens. This one actually does have a mouth plate, which separates the main metal body from the plastic mouth plate. You can see that line that goes from there all the way to the other side. This McQueen does not have it. I don't think the Cars of McQueen was ever released as a uni as a with a mouth plate. I think he was always a unibody, one piece. But I'm not entirely sure, but I do know, obviously, for a fact that this one was released as a mouth plate. But basically, other than the expression, everything else is completely the same. No differences whatsoever. The exact same paint job, the exact same decals, pretty much exact same everything with these two. Before we end this video, I'm going to roll the clip right now and exactly where in the Disney Pixar movie, Cars 1, the McQueen appear with this rusty skin. Medicated bump point, the new rear-end formula. Nothing sues a rusty bumper like Rusty's. Look at that shine. Use Rusty's, and you too can look like me. Alright, so I hope you guys did enjoy that little clip. Like I said, I did it did appear in the little commercial that was shown in Cars 1. Right before he entered the Rusty's tent, obviously with all those Rusty's cars, the can basically just appeared in a commercial. But anyway, hope you guys did enjoy this video. I'm going to wrap it up right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know on a scale rating of 1 to 10, how do you rate this accessory? Honestly, I definitely do recommend this accessory. So even though you don't like the lenticular cars, I still would recommend getting this just because of how detailed it is. And it can definitely be used for a lot of things if you do any Piston Cup series or anything. Before we leave, make sure to follow my Instagram if you haven't already. I have DynacoBlue43 underscore official because I do post a bunch of cars content on there. And I hope all of my fellow subscribers will enjoy. Nonetheless, that's going to be it. Peace out. See you later.